Yeah, I wanted to build a uh, slope glider, um, but a powered one, um, so I could run the ridge line of trees. Look in the river right here, you can see the uh, reflection. Uh, they're about 150 foot tall, and there's about 200 yards of it to run all along that river. And every afternoon, we get a 10 mile an hour wind that comes running up the Columbia River off the ocean and uh, hits those trees, and so there's an updraft there. So I, I can see the I can see the uh, osprey uh, flying into it, and then they just stop flapping their wings, and they literally hover right there. They just sit there. So I decided I needed to build a, a slope lighter to get up there, and this is what I've ended up with. Okay, now I'm going to take this carbon fiber battery plate from high-speed electric uh, RC boats and I'm going to epoxy it to the fiberglass fuselage um, paper towel tube and then epoxy in the carbon fiber arrow for a tail boom. Start timer. Yeah, so for a power glider, I'm absolutely shocked at how uh, agile this glider is as a power plane. Um, the speed that behind it and the low low drag, low profile, um, for such a small power plant it just zips right along real nicely. Um, it doesn't do anything you don't, uh, anything nasty, no bad character traits. That little barrel roll it just did there was at half rates by the way. It, it can uh, uh, do a, a roll like it's on a wire with four rates. Uh, yeah, it's just a fun plane to fly. It doesn't do anything you don't expect. I've actually decided, and as you can see here, I put on a uh, FPV gear. Um, I like uh, proximity flying in my uh, back of my yard here uh, in the swamp forest, I'm dodging in and around the trees and such. I'm not doing that right now. I'm staying high because I, I'm not used to this plane yet. But that's what I like to do back here. Um, that's about the size of uh, three or four football fields that little section just right there and the island's a mile long. Yeah, notice how close I get to the ground here. When I pull into a full elevator loop, it does really, really tight loops, and I trusted it that I could do it that low. Uh, yeah, real nimble little plane. Okay, just for shits and giggles, I've taken the uh, FPV gear off. I've got a Garmin GPS. It's already locked on and it will give me the fastest speed just for giggles flap speed maximum speed there we go so now we gotta do get everybody ready I just want to see what this little tiny 2200 kV motor is actually gonna gonna do here I don't hope this doesn't make it too much heavier
You can feel the weight. Yeah, it's slowing it down too. Definitely heavier with this GPS on it. But it'll give me an idea how fast it went and figure just add on a couple of miles an hour because of the weight of this. Give you close enough. That sun is blinding. So I'm gonna bring it in here now. Let's go see how fast she was going. Came in a little hot then. <clears throat> 72 miles an hour. 72 miles an hour. And we were, yeah, that's miles an hour, 72 miles an hour, and uh, we were on a lower, a low battery. Well, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, so like I said, this is a sporty little plane, low drag design, low profile, low drag. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, I had so much fun building that other uh, power glider. I built a big one. It's got a 78 inch wingspan. Uh, electric powered, T-tail. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Drop down. Rise. It was a short flight though. I lost power and had to glide her back in. Bye. It was just a short flight. But it was a successful flight. Just tossed it. I didn't have to trim it. It just uh, flew like a champ. Just like the small one, only larger and, of course, a little bit more scale fly. And it glides.